Hello friend, hope you are getting on well with your studies. Uh, friend, uh, the much awaited uh, SBIPO notification is out. Uh, and uh, the number of vacancies declared by the concerned department is 2056. Uh, don't you think the number of vacancies is very large? Uh, plus, uh, the notification has come out after a long lull. So, Without your sincere efforts, without a concrete strategy of yours, you may take a risk. Friend, in this video session, I am going to tell you how you should make your strategy in such a way that you can cherish your goal. Friend, in this video session, I am just going to tell you how you can score maximum in the descriptive English paper. And in the descriptive English paper, you know that there are two sections, essay writing and the letter writing okay friends as you know that the descriptive english paper is open-ended in nature you can guess which is going to be asked and which is not going to be asked the uh, the descriptive english paper comprises two sections essay and letter okay letter letter is to be written in 150 words and the essay is to be written in 250 words Friend, it is really very much difficult to compact uh, the idea of the given topic in 250 words. And the similar cases with this one. It is quite easy to write the given essay topic in 500 words, in 400 words, as is there in civil services examination. Okay, but uh, whatever the knowledge you have, you need to make it compact you need to reduce it to 250 words this is really very much difficult well friend let us now come to know of the memorable points that you should adopt in the examination to score maximum friend the first thing that you should remember is that you should have a sound knowledge of varied kinds friend you should be good at current affairs okay in current affairs, what you need to study in detail, the first one is science and technology. Okay, science and technology. And the second thing that you should uh, have uh, a sound knowledge of uh, is the government schemes. Okay, for example, Atnirbhar Bharat or something like that. Okay, government schemes. And the third important thing is uh, that you should be good at uh, social and economic affairs. Social and economic affairs. Hmm. Friend, the second point that you should uh, remember is to have a sound grammatical knowledge. Friend, without sound uh, grammatical knowledge, you won't be able to frame an effective essay. Even if you have a lot of knowledge about the given topic. Uh, friend, now the question arises, how you should be good at grammar? Friend, uh, for uh, effective writing, you need to cover up two particular chapters. These two chapters uh, can easily be found uh, in the book by Redan Martin in the book by Jesse Nesfeld. What are these two chapters? The two chapters are synthesis of sentences. Okay, synthesis of sentences. What is this chapter all about? This chapter is all about combining two to three sentences or more than two to three sentences into one sentence. Okay, this is an art. And with the help of this art, you can frame effective sentences. So, please uh, go through the chapter Synthesis of Sentences from the recommended book. Okay. The second important chapter that you should uh, focus on to have effective writing is the transformation of sentences. Okay. Transformation of sentences. And this important chapter can easily be found uh, in, uh, uh, in the book recommended. And if possible, then you should also purchase the keys of these two books, uh, Rainer Martin and Jesse Nesfields. Okay, then cover these two chapters wholly. Then you will definitely uh, uh, develop a lot of confidence in effective uh, essay writing. So friend, this is all about the second point that is 
based on sound grammatical knowledge okay friend the third important point that you should remember is uh, to have a sound vocabulary friend uh, you must have a very good stock of uh, synonyms you should have a very good stock of antonyms you should have a very good stock of uh, uh, idioms and phrases you should have a very good stock of uh, one word substitution these important uh, chapters are to be covered properly the more you have uh, vocabulary stock the more flexibility will be there in your writing skill the bigger the stock of vocabulary is the easier it will be to express uh, yourself to express your knowledge in different ways so friend you must bear in mind that you should have a very good stock of uh, vocabulary okay friend the next uh, important point that you should bear in mind is uh, to have a sound knowledge of current affairs so we have already discussed uh, in the in the very first point uh, that uh, you should have uh, uh, a good uh, knowledge uh, of current affairs you should uh, know which are the government schemes so uh, you should know which uh, uh, social affairs uh, are going on which you should know which kinds of invention inventions are going on across the country and around the world okay friend the fourth important point is to possess good skills in data mining now friend the question arises what is data mining data mining means uh, you should uh, supply to your essay with uh, data okay with some facts uh, and data suppose uh, uh, what is the uh, population of india what is the unemployment uh, rate of india uh, and how india's uh, gdp growth uh, is there okay all these things uh, are to be kept in mind uh, to write your essay effectively friend the next important point is uh, how you should uh, process your thought how you should have a healthy thought processing friend uh, uh, even if you have a lot of knowledge about uh, the given topic but you don't know how to process your thought how to process the knowledge you uh, have you won't be able to frame your essay effectively then the question arises how you can do it uh, friend you know that each and every essay has a very common format and the first format is the first important thing is intro okay and then body and then conclusion okay these things are must be there in your essay okay introduction is nothing else but a very brief introduction to the essay topic it must be supplied with uh, uh, the facts and some data okay and the body is uh, nothing else but a detailed description of uh, the essay and conclusion is uh, is your your personal thought okay personal thought about the given essay topic so friend these three things are to be kept in mind while dealing with uh, the given essay topic okay hope you have got all the points properly friend banquisa uh, assists you in preparing for the descriptive english paper in a holistic manner friend you will get a lot of model answers for essays and for letters don't forget to pay a visit to our website www.bankwiz.com where you can attempt one mock with evaluation by our experts wish you all the best Thank you.